Hello there, man. I'm here. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Vanilla Plus on Turtle Server. And yes, I'm just still grinding some mobs. I don't think it will change that much until 60. Because yet yeah, the char is that close to being 60. I played 13 days, 16 hours on this char already. And uh, just because it's safe and you get good or gold while doing this, I'll probably just stick to this to be honest stick to doing this so yeah and you get I get some leather stuff that I'll can, like, that I can use yeah wait a second wait I'm just interested in uh, Leather working. No, not over here. Here. This one. Arcane okay, Essence, Rune Thread, and Enchanted Leather. So, nothing too special in that. Nine healing damage, so. It's good that I'll. Uh, I'll probably go get that. Recipe then at 62. Best legs, hands, or feet. It's not bad. The highest uh, spell power on chest and legs, I think. But for legs, there's there's other good options, like a high amount of stamina. For chest, there's none. Well, there's mana, pure mana, or stuff like that for casters. Chanting. Oops. And done. Boots. Okay, here we go. There's Vampirism, 1% self heal basically from your damage dealt. 15 stamina, like I said. Then there's Agility, nope. Some spirit, 12 spirit is available. Yeah, so for, it's car for casters, it's either spirit, armor patch, or it's just stamina, or it's speed buff. Like, uh, minus speed, yeah, but it's like 8% or something. But I fall for real, I don't think that's, that's that strong. Just get the stamina if you're lower health, it's cheap. And then you can get the armor patch if you get enough life points. But yeah, good to know. So head, uh, chest and leg is best for caster, so once I can craft that it's going to be helpful for the, our DPS people. One hundred mobs to level up. Okay. Probably like twenty gold, right? That I get. Nah, maybe ten. Maybe five per per mob is fair. Five silver per mob is fair. To say.
By the way, it's a little bit later, but whatever. I'm still looking for people to join my raid group. We just got two more people uh, that joined for last raid. We got uh, four people leveling. I think three are more more active because he's uh, yeah. So one, two, three leveling. Thank you wants to do like dungeon tanking because he's not there. He's more casual, right? So I'm gonna go with okay with that. So we got me, Psylo, Rock Gobbler, I hope. Those three new ones, that's five. The two German ones, that's uh the three leveling ones, two German ones, that's seven, and the two new ones, that's nine. So we're missing uh, one or two more heal, one or two more DPS, then we can start with Sir Group AQ20. And I'm really interested in doing that because, yeah, th once you do that, you'll get more, way more powerful. You get 50 more stamina and spirit from Sansa's Flask once you hit re -reared. You get the Shoulder Enchant from Exalted and in Sir Group, you get the skill books from AQ20 that I didn't buy because, yeah, that's basically the challenge, right? Do not, do not buy stuff. And to not go random rating, so I cannot get those for uh, for Maker Twenty. So those those items until we go there. So Aq Twenty will be powerful in that regard. Then there's some there's good heal gear in Aq Twenty for Paladin and stuff. Then there's um. Excel group, yeah. They have head like enchant. It's also pretty awesome it's not that extreme for paladin you can see it's 10 stamina 67 defense and 24 heal power but for for real 7 defense is 7 times 0 0.04 that's Twenty-eight, not point two eight percent of block parry dodge. So, like seven five plus nine seven eighty eighty four, not not point eight four percent of mitigation on one enchant on the leg uh, on the head or leg piece, right? The ten stamina. It's also pretty good. It's it's stronger than the 100 life points that I currently have enchanted. Because you get kings. Kings gave, gives you another stamina with that. So yeah, it's just, it's obviously an upgrade. The issue is, like this is way better for per, uh, for warrior. They get defense. I uh, get block value. Or hunter or... Hunter or mage is broken. It's just it's just hundred percent perfect. Warlock is okay, spell power and stamina. Rogue is okay, attack power and dodge. Druid is okay, stamina and and healing. But yeah, that's that's basically only useful for a healer or caster. It's somewhat okay then. Then the tank and then Feral, but but Feral should just get their haste to be honest. Uh, priest is perfect for healing, not for f not acceptable at all for caster. For uh, for shadow right. Um, and yeah, that's all. So there are some that are like, okay, for example, head leg enchant for paladin is not acceptable at all for for DPS paladin. It's just doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's the shoulder enchant that I was talking about. But the attack power, 18 damage, spell power, or 33 healing, or 14 stamina. Yeah, 14 stamina is obviously nice. Just getting way more tanky. And yeah. With those upgrades, with the 50 more stamina, okay, maybe it's only 25. From Sansa's flask with the head leg enchant, two more stamina, basically. 
And uh, the shoal enchant have 14. With full buffed, I'd be like at 8,500 8, or something then. And maybe I'll get some actual upgrades that are like item, item upgrades that help. But yeah, one the biggest one is Wands of Time that I'm working on. Exalted, it's just extremely tough. It's extremely long grind and yeah. We'll see. We will see. Let me... no, let's not do this. Because I will need to sell my stuff after this. Well, at least I want to sell and store my stuff after this and create, create new poison, poisons. To make it easier, faster next time. Yo. And here's the rain. They may put out my post my macro again. To find some people maybe. Cause yeah, I just need to find like one or two people per week and we will get there someday. Like I said, it's only four, three more technically. So two heal, one DPS would be awesome. Or two, one DPS, one heal. And then, then we can start with Soul Grow Baker 20. And yeah, that, those two dungeons are both pretty easy. They are like one boss, there's like one, okay. Uh, a few bosses in AQ20 and like a few in Soul Group that requires playing mechanics, but it, the, the item uh, requirements basically, it's, it's basically non-existent. If you don't fail, like get aggro or if you don't fail with the blood on on her car, you don't have any issues with that. The only act people that have actually item requirements are the tanks because they're getting hit and they heal because they got to heal. And yeah, obviously DPS better to do, do do DPS. It's easier on heals and everyone, but yeah, not that bad. Uh, they already got to work on the quest cap, like to to have an option to increase that. But yeah, on my paladin, I'm just going through the zones one by one and clearing clearing them. I still have a few more quests that are permanent, more or less, in my quest log until I do stuff because I got quest items. But yeah. For example, Black Rock Depths, that's the one that I need the Silver Vein thingies for. For my Shara, right. Should I should really work on that soon. Okay. Or five more percent and then I'm done for the day. I'm a little bit slow. I see, but yeah, whatever.
And yeah, this jar isn't slow and sturdy anymore, but yeah, I don't need it. I just need this jar for mining, then for getting the boxes for reputation with Ravenhold. Because yeah, I'm a completionist on, for my, on my paladin, so I'll try to get everything. How many more? Two and then one, okay. Yeah, 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 it's a lot. But yeah, we're getting a lot of useful materials. Interesting. People in world chat are like, uh, Officer, what's the law behind Officer Brady clones and Storm? And on the wall, there seem to be some defending dudes. And someone said, Hall players abusing the walls and gates pissed off GMs. Yeah, makes sense. Ah, that's the rogue thing, right? Yeah, that's the rogue one thing to do the to, uh, doing upper black rock spire, going for this to get the upgraded t uh, dungeon gear, which is extremely strong. I'm not sure that I want to do this, but I think I'll do at least for every dun dungeon once at 60. Ah, uh, no, no, probably not. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we we'll get there. Maybe I can do that. But I, I, I don't want to guarantee that to be honest. By the way, with my raid group, we have a few challenges. Uh, one is no random rating, I talked about that I think at the beginning. So we just go through the content together and with the gear that's that's far collected by us. And the second one is only use craftables and shamans and stuff that we can produce or raid members can. So. This will make it also pretty pretty social more. I am creating a Google Sheet to list all profession recipes and stuff and so you can see what who can craft what and also we'll work on uh, like a best in slot for consumables after this. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff out there in terms of consumables, but I guess some of them are overkill. Like that haste potion, uh, haste buff food might be overkill haste potion. But yeah, maybe we can at least have like one maxed out run 
in a while, right? With portions and, and consumables to make to to check out how fast that we are. And for example, once we clear Molten Core, right, then get the maxed out equipment, maxed out things, uh, get out the maxed out buff uh, consumables, and then do one run like that. Oh my god. World chat is weird sometimes. Two and a half percent, okay. Don't be that much anymore. Yeah, my inventory. Getting full. Well, I think the bank is not logging that much better. But I don't want to upgrade the heavy leather because we need that. I'll need that for Toyom wrap on some jars, probably. Maybe on this one even.
Los, so, so. The chill grind. Oh my god. How many more is this? I don't know. He got 60, so we might have one more heal. Or tank, whatever. I mean, if he's tanking and carries an I heal, whatever. It's okay. I only need a few more, and then I hit the next 10% mark, and then I'm done for the day. I think I hit him, I got there now. 90... Plus 18, yeah, that's, that's 10%. I'll do one more, and then I'm done for the day. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.